Welcome to our Thanksgiving special. So on this half of the counter, I am making keto crustless pumpkin pie. I'm making green chili the easy way, the man way. The man way. There you go. Okay. And while we're doing this, as you can see, we're drinking Kirkland eggnog with the brandy already in it. It's really good. Yeah. We even have um, a fancy dancy. Where is it? Oh, right there. No, the grinder. Oh, fancy dancy nutmeg grinder. So, this is drunken Thanksgiving. It could cooking. go bad. It could go bad. But, it could. You know, here we go. But it could be awesome. So um, we're Just gonna so go. You know, I'm gonna give you the, the chili recipe first. It's really a good recipe. I've made it before. Yeah. Here you go. It's a really cool recipe. Easy. And mine I got on Pinterest. So we're <laughs> nailed just, it. <laughs> nailed it. So we got our little dueling stations here. Dueling. So. For the crustless pumpkin pie, I need three teaspoons coconut oil, three large eggs, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, and some eggnog. And some eggnog. Mm -hmm. um, one and a half teaspoons or equal of a half cup sugar artificial sweetener, and I'm going to use stevia here, and one tablespoon pumpkin pie spice, which I'm going to sort of wing. I don't know if I have an actual pumpkin pie spice, so I'm going to kind of wing that one. Um, one cup canned coconut milk, and I buy my coconut milk from Costco in like a case. And the top is always sort of solidified in the liquids at the bottom. So what I did was I put it in my Ninja, uh, mixed it up so I've got one cup and it's fully blended. They say shake the can, but seriously, I cannot shake that can hard enough to get that separation to blend. Um, two tablespoons of coconut flour and then blend it all together. So I have preheated the oven to 350. Ron is using, um, we want to say Instapot, but it's really not. It's a Cuisinart um, pressure cooker. But now they call them Instapots. So. That's just different brand. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, they're the, they're the bomb. When I, really, so be careful. Yeah, when I was a kid, um, I had always heard about pressure cookers, like one small speck of something wrong and the thing was going to explode and it was going to be this nightmare. Um, so I always shied away from them, but I got Ron this electric one, I don't know, about three years ago or so. And so there you go. So what are you doing? I'm getting it. I'm chopping up the, chopping up the onions and getting them ready, everything ready to go in there. And I'm gonna brown my chicken and my stuff inside of there. Then instead of pork. doing like the, yeah, you can do chicken or pork. You can also do ham. If you're allergic to something, don't eat it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna heat up the chicken stock as in the recipe you see at the beginning. I'm gonna brown the. The chicken or pork in this case, and get everything ready. Put that in there. You put that in that that uh, pressure cooker. I'll put it in there for about probably 15 minutes, and it's going to come up to pressure, which takes about 10, and then it's going to go under pressure for that 15 minutes or whatever time you put it on. And then when it gets done, it goes to a warming stage, which is like in the recipe it says to simmer. At that point, I'll let it warm and I'll let it naturally cook off that pressure instead of just releasing the pressure, and it'll be it'll be ready to 
take to the party tomorrow. Yep. Ooh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving for the sake of our YouTube here, um, 2019. This year we are not cooking, but we are keeping our tradition of going to a movie on Thanksgiving and then eating. So um, tomorrow I think we're going to go see Dr. Sleep. <laughs> so my first instructions are grease a nine inch glass pie plate with coconut oil. But I really like using my avocado spray. So that's what I'm going to use. That's my personal preference. Um, sticking with it. These slap chops are really awesome. If you've never seen one, it keeps you from having to chop everything up with a knife. Just put it in there like this and you just. Alright, so my first step is in the keto pumpkin pie is to whisk the three eggs. So I'm going to take these over here, the eggs in the bowl. Hey, just for reference, hey Google, what is the temperature outside? The current temperature in Colorado Springs is 21. Due to current wind, condi current wind conditions, it feels like it's 12. Holy moly. So just so you know, day before Thanksgiving 2019, it's freezing. Okay, so after I whisk, lightly whisk the eggs, I add the pumpkin, and it's 15 ounces of pumpkin, which I'm going to use. And if you've watched a previous vlog, love this. This is the Pioneer Woman can opener, and this is the first can opener in five years of marriage and 50 years of living that I like. Talia mentioned that it was funny how the can opener didn't work as I was praising the can opener and here I go again. I am all about the fun tools in cooking. I love the bowls and the measuring cups and the... We need a key word when I go to pound on this. <laughs> Shut up. No, <laughs> oh yeah. You be drinking it. Top. Do it. Top that baby off. Where's the nutmeg? Can't have enough, enough nutmeg. I don't know how many drinks she's had already, so sorry. I did have a glass of wine. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put some... I really don't like that. I really am not grooving on this cinnamon. ancient... 1920s greater thing. Then don't use it. Use this thing. Here. Ginger. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna add some ginger to this. Boy, this looks like a lot of onions. I'm making a double batch, by the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. That's why it looks like so much. Yeah, I keep ginger in the freezer. Um, Nobody puts ginger in the corner. Yeah, I do. Don't know what we're doing, making it up. Yeah, but after it's done, we're going to go, this is the best ever, you ought to try it. Yeah. Probably yeah. because we never get anything good, like <laughs> pumpkin pie. Now again, good. this is crustless, so, I don't know. What kind of crust is it going to have? Bliss. <laughs> Uh oh, it's stuck. Back in the freezer, right? Uh, cinnamon! Cinnamonimer! We recently got this Hey Google thing, it's a Google Nest deal. She said, no way! I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go to the other room. She's liking it, just so you know. She's starting to ask you questions, and she's like a believer now. So, there yeah. you go. I gotta say, it is pretty cool. I gotta find cinnamon and cloves. Oh. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon. I think you got the onion thing down there. Uh, well, what I just noticed in the uh, dang. 
What I just noticed in the um, pantry were those kind that you stick in the ham. Here comes Mimi. They oh, she's see. our camera person. They can't see her. She, oh, she's she strategic and moves the camera. So <laughs> if you could actually see her, she'd be right there. I found my groovy little bottle that Mimi made. Mimi, me. Mimi, me. Um, ground clothes. pumpkin pie spice. I know because my eyes. One <laughs> tablespoon would be required. Okay, now we're gonna add. Holy yeah, I think that's it for the onion. There you go. A tablespoon of vanilla extract. I mean, when does anything ever call for a full tape? I'm. Reading this three, four times, but it says a tablespoon. Okay. Take so I think it's probably going to use up our. No. Use up our Still living on. We've had um, that for 20 years. I know. All right. Um, then we're going to do the one cup canned. Dog place. Dog place. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. So tell us where you're at besides chopping 3,000 onions. I'm going to chop the pork. I've got, I'm done with the onion. Chicken stock I got, the whole jalapenos, but they come in the can, so voila. There you go. They come in the can, like as if there's no other option. I can make this whole option. thing, guys, out of cans. And I don't even need this. If I use this, Problem is, it makes it really, really hot. If you there. did you dip that in the onion? Are you getting onion in my nutmeg? Maybe. That hot mess over there. Like, do you even clean up as you go? Oh, like, that's why I got a wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, can I help with anything over in the chaos area? Yes, you may help by moving out of the way. One pound of diced whatever meat. So I have a little scale here because I'm meticulous like that. I don't mind going over, but I'm not going under. If you know what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna zero it. There we go. Zero. Now I'm gonna make sure I got at least a pound of meat on here. I'm going to double recipe. It'll be two pounds. Okay. Wow. There's one pound. Alright, this is gonna be a lot of meat in there, man. Yeah, honey. <clears throat> okay. Look at that. There it goes. What I'm doing is cutting up the meat because I'm doing it. I do it where I want it. I like smaller pieces so that you can eat them. Oop, that one. Shouldn't you use a non-paper plate for the meat? <clears throat> and I don't know who this person that walked onto my <laughs> set is, but I'm gonna I mean... get security to take <laughs> it off. Um. You should be <clears throat> using. Did you just touch the meat with your finger? A non paper plate. Here. Are you browning the meat first? Yes, I am browning the meat first, by the way. Then maybe, how about you put it directly into the. Put some oil of ole in there for me, would you? to add the plethora of onion and garlic. Brown that in there, brown the pork in there, and then throw the rest of the stuff in there. So basically, what it says is saute the onion in olive oil while heating up the chicken stock. Brown the chicken with crushed red pepper. Dice the whole peppers and jalapenos. Anyway, but we're gonna do this kind of in one big pot. So I'm going to put the garlic and onion in there because I figure it's going to take them a minute or two first. So please, Vanna, throw that crap in there. Let's Vanna wise this. Okay. And then once that starts getting translucent, which is what peppers do, then okay. I'll throw the pork in there. Let that all get like brown with the crushed red pepper. How much um, garlic is required? The garlic is... 
one tablespoon for one batch, but we're doing two batches, so two tablespoons. Okay. One. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we have it in there, and I'm going to put this in the, not an Instapot, but a Cuisinart. And we're going to push on the menu. you going to turn it on first. We're in the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna go menu. I'm gonna go. We'll go saute. I'm gonna saute first. That's French for cook. So we'll get these things kind of almost there, and then I'll throw the pork in there. All right. So while that's doing that, I want to dice the whole peppers and jalapenos. Ah, uh, here we go. We're gonna be dicing some more. Now I can use your help, ma'am. Okay. Six ounces of Ortega whole. They're not Ortega, but... Well, they're not Ortega. They're low. La Costeña. Bless you. Sliced jalapeno. So we're going to keep the juice out of it, but we're going to take those, and then we're going to whack-a-mole it with our machine here. Oh, man, if you ever get these things, you open them up. These things are nice. They're hot. Because they're hotter than the jalapenos, I think. Try one. I think they take on the heat from the jalapenos. Warm? <laughs> Have another one. Holy smokeroos. <laughs> okay, there you go. That looks like about half-ish. I'm gonna put that in there. Watch this, I got skilled with this. Be married for a while. Put that in there. All right. You're browning the meat first. Oh shit, go groovers. All right. Well, maybe a little bit more because it didn't look like enough. Guys, don't be scared. We'll get a little I thought you were supposed to brown the pork first. We are. We'll save that. You can put this in something. So okay. I'm stirring up the onions till they're translucent. Right. Then we are adding the pork. I'll stay on track here. Look at that. Ooh, we got this. And another brand new package. Yeah. Is this really browning? What's it, Secretary? That's High so pressure? No, we're browning the meat, sauteing the onions. It's a French thing. And then a 14 and a half ounce can. We have a scale here, but I'm going to put that on a scale. I'm going to put it on here, and I'm not going to mess with the juice in here. I'm just going to put it on there. And then, um... Notice I have a bowl. 28. Or 29 ounces of tomatoes, but which I, is what we have here. So I zero this with the bowl. Five pounds. I think that's a little excessive, don't you? We need to go to how many ounces? Seven. Okay, so we're going to put it in here. There you go. That's. We're going to go to brown. So I'm going to put the meat in there now. Uh, we're gonna brown the meat. In the old days, my mom used to cook beans all the time in pressure cookers. You have the thing on the stove, the crazy thing would go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. You knew you were gonna have some good food when you got done. But, but as you just, can see, yeah. I don't know if you can. Um, but the pork is being cooked on the outside, which is pretty oh. cool. Nice part. I mean, they have Instapot, which is a brand name. They have this, which is Cuisinart. It's a hundred brand. Westinghouse, GE. But anyway, it's a electric pressure cooker, and they're awesome. The How recipe, much chicken stock do we have? I'm glad you asked that question. We have the right amount right here. We got three of these buckets. For one batch, it's 49.5 ounce cans. Since there's 32 ounces in a quart. I have three of these, it's going to make the right amount. It's like a hundred ounces? I, that's not going to fit in there, is it? It's going to be really darn close. It only takes 16 cups. I don't, hey Google, how many ounces in 16 cups? 40, 52. 16 US cups is equal to 128 US fluid ounces. So to convert work? from US cups to US fluid ounces, multiply the volume value by 8. Can I do my tic-tac joke? Come on over, Mimi. Tell okay, us cool. your joke. What did I draw? A butterfly. Okay. What's this? Is wing. wing. The wing? Okay. 
Now put your thumbs like that. Okay, now say it ten times fast. What? What the, what that was. Butterfly? No, the wing. The wing, yeah. Ten times. Ten times fast. Can you count for me because I don't know. That's fine, yeah. Wing, 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 wing. Hello. <laughs> Like Are you much. sure this is browning? It doesn't, it's flashing. Well, you didn't do it right. Well, I've never used this before. You're supposed to be the, the watcher. We're, we're drinking eggnog, not wine. <laughs> I got that camera. <laughs> so have any of you ever heard Dominic the donkey? Because I haven't. My friend is from Scotland. Hi, Jessica. And she showed me this song. So let's never heard of it. And oh, sorry. by the way, I forgot to press start on the browning. So it was just. She went down with me. She probably wants to go down with it. Have you heard this before? Uh -oh. Santa's got a little friend, his name is Dominic, the cutest little donkey. Stop, right? Yeah, we're recording. Yeah. 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 Ye
Tom? Dominic, Dominic the, the donkey. donkey. Hey, okay, I just gotta say, has anybody ever heard of that? Besides what is Jessica? It? No. What did you So if you're going to do it like we do, you might not need all the chicken stock because it got full from the natural juices from the green. Not the, um... Rotel? No. Cornstarch. Not until after. Once it gets all cooked, we'll add that to thicken it up to put it on the table. It is. Can you see inside of it? This is what it's looking like, right? So we're going to put that baby in there for the amount of time specified earlier. Not in the instructions. On the pumpkin pie front, let's take a look here. See if... Okay, so a little bit jiggly in the middle. I'm thinking I want to leave it in there with the oven off for a few more minutes. So then it'll sit for two hours and we'll have... Oops crustless pumpkin pie. Now over here on the chili side, we are setting the timer for the pressure cooker. Okay, we're gonna set it to, I'm thinking 13 since it's an odd number. Yay! Prime. Start. So what happens is this thing will it'll take about 10 minutes to get up to pressure and then 13 minutes at pressure. And when it's done, it'll beep and go to warm. And it'll slowly take the pressure off. Okay, so the pressure cooker is cooked. Everything's done. We're going to transfer it to um, a container for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We'll add a little bit of cornstarch into it to thicken it. And our pumpkin pie keto crustless pumpkin pie is completely done so we're going to have that tomorrow with some whipped cream so thank you very much for watching drunk cooking for thanksgiving with green chili and pumpkin pie thanks for watching Happy please subscribe